Hello everyone and welcome to the first video on SQL. So even before we get started learning on SQL, we should uh, just have a brief idea or background about SQL. SQL or SQL stands for Structured Query Language. It is the standard language which is used to manage relational databases. Now don't worry if you don't know the meaning of word relational at the moment. You will get to know as we progress. In SQL, what you do is typically you write queries or SQL statements to interact with database to perform different operations. Now, what are those operations? Those are like creating databases, creating tables, dropping tables and databases. The most frequent thing you will always end up doing is extracting data from tables and doing update operations, delete operations, or insert operations. Learning SQL is fun. The reason being because uh, compared to any other programming language like Java, Python, or any typical programming language like C++, SQL is comparatively easy. That's what I have found because I have been working in both SQL as well as programming. So if I see and compare, the learning path is much easier as compared to programming, although that's debatable. For some people, it might sound that, okay, learning programming is much easier. However, I still see SQL is much easier. SQL was initially developed somewhere around 1970 and 1980, somewhere about that. So let us understand why you should learn SQL. If you don't know anything about SQL and you just want to begin, it's always you know good to know what is that this technology can offer you. So it's all about data. Wherever you see data, there are two primarily things involved. The first is to store the data somewhere, and obviously the second thing is to process that data as per the requirements of business. We are in a different age right now. There is massive eruption of data due to IoT, data applications, web, cloud, and many more things. And the good thing is the data world is moving towards doing all the operations in the SQL way. So if you already are a data professional and at some stage of your career, or you want to be one, according to me, SQL is the first thing you should learn, as you will find it everywhere. So everywhere in terms of be it storing data, be it querying data, be it extracting data, and uh, other terminologies uh, like data warehousing, ETL, big data, everywhere you will see SQL has its part. So the first step in you know, becoming a data professional is to learn SQL, and then maybe you can go ahead and learn any programming language like Scala or Python. Moving on, we also need to understand what are different SQL database providers around the world. So what happened is after the initial development of SQL language, different companies adopted it. At that time, mainly you could just see companies like Oracle, Microsoft, IBM, etc. What they did is they adopted this SQL language, gave their own flavor and touch to it, and released their own products into the market. Oracle has been uh, the leader in relational database markets for years now, almost you could say, for decades. And then obviously followed by MySQL and SQL Server by Microsoft. The good part is that you don't have to learn all of these individually. So what I mean to say is you don't have to learn Oracle database, then you don't have to learn MySQL database, then you don't have to learn SQL Server for Microsoft. If you learn any one of them, the syntax is almost the same. Almost, uh, I would say 80 to 90 percent same, with few exceptions and variations in the name of functions on the way those are written. So that is one good part. So you learn SQL by taking only one database, which uh, we would be working on is SQL Server by Microsoft. And then it would benefit you tomorrow if you want to go ahead and work on a project which has Oracle or MySQL or any other database. You will not be in a, a complete alien territory because you would be already knowing most of the SQL there. The only change that is you will have to adopt is to learn those exceptions or how things are written differently. So, will all this said and done, 
we will progress with our first part of actual uh, learning in SQL in the next video. Thanks and stay tuned.